Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, how to get a cat to drink more water. Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. To get your cat to drink more water, move its water farther away from its food. You can also get a water fountain, use bowls of different materials, and place water bowls in several different places around the house. If your cat still refuses, offer broth instead. Switch to wet food and add water to dry food. Your cat needs roughly 3.5 to 4.5 ounces of water for every 5 pounds of body weight. This amount, at the minimum, should be consumed daily to ensure proper hydration. Water can come in the traditional form, but it can also be consumed through wet food and or broth. It's not uncommon for cats to consume less water from the bowl if they live on a diet of wet food, as a wet meal contains roughly 80% liquid. We've got 10 solutions to offer. Some are quite conventional, while others are a bit more involved. It's all about ensuring that your cat is properly hydrated, and sometimes adjustments need to be made in order to make sure that your pet is receiving at the very least, the minimum requirements. Number one, move the water bowl away from the food. Number two, water fountain. Flowing and filtered water can spark your cat's interest. Number three, the use of different bowls. Give your cat options, especially if you've noticed outright refusal. Number four, water access in different places. The corner of the living room, bedroom, multiple spots in lower traffic zones. You know your home, make each bowl unique. Different look, different color. Number five, increased access to water. No matter the placement, make it easily available. Some cats are not interested in the search. Make water easy to find, especially if your cat is of senior status with limited mobility. Number six, fill the bowl to the brim. Some cats don't enjoy the effort and that whisker contact with the bowl. Fill the bowl, make it easier for your cat to access fresh water. Number seven, add broth to your cat's diet. Some cats just don't enjoy water as is. This isn't uncommon as most cats receive their hydration needs via wet food. So, if your cat is refusing to drink, add some broth. No additives or preservatives. Clear this option with your vet, especially if your cat has any existing health concerns. Number eight and right on cue is wet food. Some cats just won't drink water no matter what you do. This is why a diet of wet food becomes all the more important. Number nine, modify dry food. If your cat is big on dry food and is resisting the switch to wet, try adding a small amount of water to your pet's favorite dry meal. By adding water in small amounts, your picky eater will learn to enjoy the moistened kibble. This method is much lower on the list because it takes a lot of patience, to say the very least. In fact, this is the very last water or food method in terms of independence or the independent route. Our final step requires the ultimate in hands-on hydration. That brings us to number 10, the syringe. If your cat is sick or severely dehydrated, the use of a syringe can become necessary if your cat is refusing all methods of hydration. Needless to say, this is an emergency situation and should be treated with the greatest of concern and care. Contact your vet immediately if this situation has reached what can only be regarded as a crisis point. We've had some requests to make our videos shorter and more to the point. We hope this presentation has checked all of those boxes. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, including detailed sections concerning each of the 10 hydration options that were mentioned here today, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.